Coach. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm extremely proud of, of our team. Uh, we didn't play our best football today. You know, really, I think in any any of the three phases. But really, what stands out to me is our guys. They kept fighting. Um, they didn't quit. There was plenty of times they could have. Um, you know, I think Noah's uh, interception was really probably the play of the game. Went down and scored twice at the end. Um, you know, we've been talking all week about just playing Auburn football and that fight and that character and everything that goes with it. And that's really what defined it for me, the win today. Now, a lot of times how you win can help you moving forward. And uh, that'll definitely give us momentum. I mean, obviously we got things we need to work on, but uh, real proud of our players. Uh, also, just want to thank the fans. I mean, the fans were unbelievable. And there were some tough times. Uh, a lot of fans could have shut it down. It didn't look pretty uh, there in the third and fourth quarter. And they hung in there and really was a big part of the game. Really appreciate our fans. You know, this is a series that I believe it's the first time in this series the home team's won. And it was a dog fight to be able to do that. They're a, they're a very talented team. Uh, I think they are, are a good team. You know, defensively, they're as good as advertised against the run. Um, thought they had a good plan offensively. They were able to run the football. They've got, uh, you know, they got a very good running back, good offensive line. But really, what stood out to me, just, um, just, you know, very thankful that I get a chance to coach a team like this with a character uh, that they have. And it was a big win for us and, um, in a lot of different ways. Questions? You talk about the play Ryan Davis made. Uh, get the ball down to the 11 yard line. Yeah, the, the cross, it was unbelievable. You know, you, you just kind of get the ball in his hands in space and try to turn it into a punt return. And that was a big play in the game, a little under. They kind of dropped everybody out, and, and Jarrett found him right there. And, um, you know, we started kind of went in two minute mode the last two drives and get, were able to get him the ball in space. And Darius made a, a big play, um, you know, in, in that, that first drive, too. Do you think it's kind of random that you guys were better today in the two-minute <clears throat> attitude anyway? I mean, late in the game, you guys well, were Yeah, you know, we were, we were having trouble running the football. We, we took some shots, and we were close on them. But, you know, we had too many kind of second and ten pluses. And against that team, you know, that, that's going to be that's going to be a challenge. Uh, but in the two-minute, the last two drives, we got in a rhythm, and, um, and that was good, you know. And we were able to protect, too, which I thought was a big factor in those last two drives, too. What was different about Jared on those last two drives? <clears throat> Really locked in. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I just gave him some options and uh, where to go with the ball, and uh, I think he made some real good decisions. Um, you know, they were mixing up some cover four and and some uh, and some cover one with different blitzes, and he did a good job with the protections too. You know, they do a good job with their with their blitz schemes. Texas A&M's uh, rush defense is. Are you surprised that you guys struggled as much as you did against them? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, we're, we're not happy at all with the, with the rushing numbers. I think everybody in here knows that. Uh, there's a lot of things that we need to, to work on and correct. We'll continue to do that. But like I said today, I think the big thing that uh, I don't want to take away from is the way we won. And uh, that's hard to do, what our team did. And like I said, I'm just real proud of those guys. and. And proud of uh, proud of our fans. Two out. plays by Seth. What's that? Yeah, Seth. Seth is coming on. I mean, you know, we <clears throat> really a, a part of our plan in the off week. Those young guys were really coming on, and you know, obviously we tried to get the ball to Swartz early. And we had a couple couple plays there, and then uh, you know he's coming on too. So uh, that was that was good. Was Booby still not one hundred percent? Yeah, he's not one hundred percent, but you know he was good enough to play and uh, wanted to play. Um, you know, another week of rest will, will help him, I think. In the fourth quarter, I mean, as good as your defense was, helped set you guys up. How big was Derek Brown? He seemed to be in Cal's yeah. face nearly every time. Yeah, there, there's no doubt. Uh, our defense, when the game was on the line, uh, did some super stuff. I think we held them. They missed the field goal. Um, then we had the turnover. And, of course, you know, they we had them at the end. We put some pressure on them. And they put a second back on the clock when we thought the game was already over. And then, I guess, Nick Cole got the sack. So that's kind of unique. No, I don't know if I've seen that before. Your head, you know, going against Jimbo in the final seconds of a close game and then a you know, second place on the clock. No, you, you know, not, not really. You know, you think about the different scenarios when you're going against a head coach with his tendencies and everything that goes with it. But this was a different kind of game. You know, it was um, it was completely different. But no, I didn't. I was just, you know, we had to go back out there when you think the game's over. I mean, that's a that's a different deal there. You ever dealt with the situation where the assistant coaches are run down from the press box, and I saw Kevin Steele was on able to be on the field yeah. and coaching his guys up? Well, you think the game's over? Yeah. 
I mean, the game's over. You shake the other coach's hand. Players, you get a chance for 10 minutes, and then they tell you to come back out, you know, and then they got another play. So you just do the best you can. You know, they're up there. They think the game's over, and they come on the sidelines. And, you know, I think our guys did a good job of just getting organized because you had to get back organized. That's that's very unusual. And you got to stay calm, and you got to get everybody in there the right position. I thought our players did a good job handling that. We've had, we've had to handle a lot of different things. I mean, a whole lot of different things um, with reviews and everything that goes with it. And our team really hadn't flinched, and at times it's been real frustrating. And But, uh, you know, I was real happy with, with the way our guys responded. So you scores about after. There was an inter interception, and uh, just how one play can just, it just yeah. kind of Inspired the whole yeah, and we had, you know, and, and that one play kind of got the crowd back into it too, you know, and uh, that, that interception was really something. And I think we were able to make an explosive play right back to back, and then the rest of it's history, you know, and the momentum was all on our side, and crowds going bananas, and it, it really um, inspired our defense, uh, inspired our offense, and we were able to make plays when the game was on the line, and that's that's hard to do, especially when you when we played like we played and we didn't play that good and was able to, to do that, I think that uh, is a good sign. How crucial is it for the defense to make plays like that and result right there in touchdowns, two huge touchdowns? Yeah, you know, they responded. Um, you know, our defense didn't play our best either. We gave up a lot of rushing yards that, um, you know, pretty unusual. But when the game mattered, I mean, they were, they were off. And like, like you said about Derek Brown and, you know, Nick and Marlin, I mean, they were really putting pressure. We were only rushing three, you know, quite a bit that last series, too. Have you had a freshman receiver like Seth where he's able to be able to count on and do that in the end zone? Um, the time? You know, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, the game was on the line. He made a huge play. I think that says, you know, a lot about him. What went into the Christian tied into that punt return? <clears throat> yeah, we, about we, that return again? we've had that. We've had that all year. You're just waiting on the right moment to call it. And, golly, it was like, a hair away from like being a house call and so you know you work on things and you work on them in fall camp and you try to find the perfect situation that really was you know because it was kind of a a backed up situation he did a good job catching the ball and uh yeah it was it was a hair away Moving didn't get his first carry until was yeah so you gotta understand you know from a coach's standpoint you know you're you're you gotta you gotta play like he's not going to play and so you get your first plays and all that, and then pregame you see how he's going to do, and yeah, he can play. And so that was the reason that you know he didn't start out. We we wanted to stay in rhythm with the plays that we worked and repped all week. So it was a game time decision on Boone. <clears throat> it was. It, it, it was. Sorry. Uh, what went into the decision to start Caleb at center? Yeah, uh, we just kind of during the off week uh, just kind of looked at everything, and you know Caleb was banged up early in the season. Um, you know, got hurt right before Tuesday of the LSU games. Kind of went back and, um, you know, Nick did a solid job, but it was probably more of a stability, a veteran guy. And uh, so we just made that call. And I think he did a good job today and snaps were good and uh, our, you know, direction was good. Yes. Uh, can you talk about Daniel Thomas? He looked like he had, might have one of his best games today. Yeah, Daniel, Daniel was everywhere. I mean, Daniel's, uh, you know, he's, he's like a heat seeking missile when he goes to the, the football. And uh, he's really playing good football right now. Yes, Darius has struggled with some drops this season. Had a, had a few early in this game, but down the stretch made several big catches. What was that about? Yeah, him? he did. You know, he's one of our guys, and you know, you just keep giving a guy like that chances. And uh, you know, he made the play when the game was on the line. That was a really nice play. You know, that they thought was a touchdown. It was a little bit short, but. Uh, that was one of the key plays too. How about Ryan's touchdown pass, the call, and the execution? Yeah, yeah, that's that's another one we've been probably rep for I don't know, probably eight weeks, and just kind of waiting for left hash twenty yard line, and so just dialed it up and he executed it. For your team, do you just think winning the turnover battle means wins? Yeah, I should have said that at the very first. You know, we forced two turnovers and we didn't turn the ball over, and when we don't turn the ball over, we're tough to beat, and. Uh, so that held true again today. With so much emphasis on national championships these days, how hard is it to get a team refocused when you're out of that picture, but you're still playing? There's a whole lot to play for. I mean, that's a very good team we beat. Um, you know, we got three more games. Obviously, there's there's two big ones that everybody in this room knows about, and there's a lot to play for. Our guys, uh, you know, they're 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 going to be hungry, and um, they're going to be excited to to finish this thing. Anything else? Ever been part of a, another game that turned on a dime so quickly? 
you know, I, I, it's kind of hard to think. I mean, I've been coaching 29 years, so you just about see everything. Um, but, you know, right now it was a, a special win, you know, with, with the way that, that things were. Um, and like I said, uh, it was most teams I don't think could have done that. And uh, our guys did it today, so I'm real proud of them. All right, good. Thank you.